Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy. Episode 45, X Pages, Tracking File Downloads, because everyone needs a big brother. Okay, before we get we start talking about the show or X Pages or any of that computer crap, uh, I wanted to take a moment to talk about something really important, and that's uh, the Kennedy Krieger Institute. Uh, this is a uh, medical facility outside of Baltimore, Maryland, uh, in the United States, and they've got a problem, uh, and it's kind of a, a big problem because their their funding is being uh, significantly cut, and part of that funding uh, goes to kids with uh, some significant challenges, and one of those kids happens to be the member of of one of the mem- of of a uh, Domino Lotus Domino community member, Troy Reamer, and a little while back, and I've got the link right here at xpage.es slash question mark ALD, uh, Rob Novak wrote an article about uh, Troy and his son and, and that situation. And, and I don't want to rehash uh, that right now um, because Rob is much more eloquent than I'll ever be. Uh, but as he puts it, it's it's every parent's worst nightmare. Um, so what's what's going on is, is, is Troy's son is getting um, this Lorenzo's oil and that's at risk of going away. Um, because of, of lack of funds to this research facility, so uh, I, I would just ask that that if you've if you've benefited from Notes and Nine, um, if, if if you have a child yourself or or if if, if I've ever done anything to help you, uh, take a couple minutes to uh, please go to helpkids.kennedykrieger.org and uh, and and make it make a donation of, of whatever you can. Um, what you have to do is if you go to this website is you have to specify the, uh, you have to f- specify your fund designation. So you need to select other and then type in ALD research and then it'll go right to uh, the program that uh, that benefits uh, uh, Troy's son. And uh, you could also go by mail at Kennedy Krieger Foundation at 707 North Broadway, Baltimore, Maryland. 21205-9851 and again on your check in the memo put ALD research uh, to directly benefit uh, n- not just uh, you know Troy's son but uh, but everyone else involved in, in the ALD research program and if you do that uh, I, I truly would appreciate it and, and uh, obviously uh, Troy would as well uh, thank you for your time on that okay so for the demo now what we want to do is I want to talk about uh, putting a link on an X page and tracking how many times it's been downloaded. Um, I don't really have any other slides that are really needed here, I don't think, so we'll go right into the demo. Okay, so in this show I want to take another look at xpageschichi.com and uh, a little while ago what I wanted to do was add some kind of logging to how many times the cheat sheets have been downloaded or or whatever files I put on here because I've never Quite honestly, I never knew how to do that in Classic Domino, um, so I wanted to be able to do that in, in X Pages, and, and I, I did get some help from a uh, Chris Connor and, and and somebody else to put me on the right path here. So what we have is on this site is we've got these boxes, and yeah, I know one screwed up, and that's just CSS I haven't figured out yet. Um, but we've got these boxes here, and there's a link here for download. And if you click on this, it opens it up. Okay, but it's also now creating a log document in the Notes database. And, and it should and I should note that it also works. Let me do a different one though. I'm not sure if we'll see it. Is if you right click and save target as, works. I, I still get a log document in the notes database. So it should hopefully be fairly good statistics. So how do you go about uh, doing that? Well, if we go to designer, this is a custom control for that box, and I've got a panel, and the panel is downloaded or is bound to the downloads view. And has a data source name V Download. Not that that really matters. And if we look at the downloads view, um, there's three columns. There's the the basically the name, the description, which I don't really even need, and this attachment name, which is the name of the file, which I do need. And I'm just using that basically um, with this simple function here in the view. So nothing fancy going on at all. And in this computed field, I'm basically from the repeat. You know, you've seen this many times before in the show. I'm just getting the name. Nothing special there. This first link is actually my original link, so it's actually not visible. I turned it off, but but I left it there because 
people like bird droppings all over the place. Uh, but no, I wanted to just show you what the original formula looked like. And uh, what we have is, um, you know, slash, you know, get the universal ID of the document, um, and then slash dollar sign file, and then I'm getting the actual attachment name from the view. Okay, so that's how I'm basically getting a, a handle on the attachment name. Um, for for downloading and that that does you know this original link did work fine but I needed to modify it here for the statistics tracking and what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm doing the exact same formula to get the what the original basically relative link is the relative file name relative path to this file name and I'm gonna pass it to you know what we call an X agent and we'll look at that in a minute. But I'm passing to the X agent this parameter, link equals, and then this faces context, get external context, get request, get request URL. And all that does, that's giving me the HTTP uh, slash slash xpageschichi.com up to the database name. And then I'm passing in the link, you know, the, so I'm getting the full path to the link uh, of the of the file that I'm interested in and then I have another parameter here for the universal ID of the document itself because I, I wanted some extra data from that document okay so all I'm doing is calling a uh, or returning this URL this URL relative link to the X agent with parameters to what my target design my target document or my target file is so when that gets clicked then it runs this X page here, which has nothing on it. Well, it actually does, um, it's, but basically um, rendered is set to false. So that means we're dealing with an X agent. So if we look at the events and the after render response, okay, we had to uh, set up all this writer stuff, which is just a format that we use now. And now I create a variable called file link with the original link parameter so that's param.get it's a very easy way to get your parameters out of a URL and I also create a variable called unit with a param.get unit so I get both parameters into server-side JavaScript variables now basically I just want to create my log document so this is a simple code where I'm going to first um, get the current document that we're working with so this is the document that we've selected then I'm going to create a new document uh, with the database, which is a, you know it's a global object um, up, up in here. So it's a global object, so you don't need a dim you know session or anything like that. And then I'm just you know replace item, just creating my fields, okay. And the reason why I get the 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 actual document is basically for this thing here, is so I can create a view of knowing of a count of which one is which. So I created a key field on the documents and I'm basically adding to this log document whatever the value of that key field is so I can just basically make a categorized view. Uh, I'm also using some CGI variables to get the IP address and stuff. I mean uh, it really has very little meaning but because I could I did um, and I'll show you that CGI stuff in a second and then I'm doing a just session create time today so I can stamp it with today's date okay and then finally when this is set and done then it is going to basically return um, the actual file link so we're doing a faces context get external context which I believe you need to do to go outside um, of the X pages um, so we could redirect to Yahoo or anywhere else through this it doesn't have to just be an X page I'm, I'm pretty sure um, so and I'm redirecting the browser to the full path of what I passed in through this original parameter and that's basically all there is to it um, I, I will show you on the, the before play page load and I did a show on this before but this is where I'm instantiating my CGI variables from a, a script that I, I believe Thomas Bond and wrote it I think Matt White enhanced um, and that's it. So if we look at uh, the, oops, if we look at um, the log database, here is the three ones that I did. This is my address being internal. Um, refer really hasn't given me anything, so that's kind of wasted. Um, so I'm basically just getting, you know, the key, which I'm not even showing on this view yet, and then uh, the time, and 
and the IP address. So in, in theory, I could get semi-unique statistics if I wanted to. And that's that. And that's the demo. Uh, I thank you uh, for your time. If you have any questions, um, here's my contact information. And um, I hope you have the ability to make a, a donation to uh, the Kennedy Krieger Research Center. Thank you very much.